Hello, it's Richard, it's Games Freezer, and today, my friends, we are looking at Lawnmower Simulator on PS4, and it's our 10 minute taster. So, let's get started, shall we? And let's whip through this Lawnmower Simulator game. I've actually uh, started playing it um, prior to this, so I will do a new save. And we'll uh, we'll get started on a new career, so as you can see it from the start. So that'll give you a tutorial. Basically, you've got a um, uh, a new business, a lawnmower business that you set up, and then you basically got to build it up with reputation points, etc., etc. And when you get started, you get to choose your company name, the appearance, and all, all the rest of it. So let's get that done. Okay, right, so we're going to be, what are we going to be called? Uh, green Grass um, GF. There we go. All right, Green Grass GF, lovely stuff. Company logo. Right, let's choose some green grass, I reckon. What have we got? Yeah, let's go with that green grass on that. Nice. And then what else have we got here? So company logo, edit the player. So there's limited um, options in terms of what you can do um, oh, with the customization. But uh, the player models are pretty bog standard. You can't really tweak much with them. So let's go with the one that's the most different looking which is this guy here with a moustache you can change the cap colour maybe a nice green would be good yeah that goes with the logo and then you can go uh, logo placement yeah front and back uniform colours so maybe change the panels to match the hat there we go nice Confirm, confirm, and away we go. So that's our company started. So what we've got to do, test drive. Um, so we get to choose from these three types of mower that we can test drive. Um, one comes with a collector on the back. One comes with a, um, a mower that kind of spits out the grass to the side. You can get a mulch plate to connect to it at a later date. And the most expensive one that you can get at the start is this one here, which mulches from the get-go, but obviously costs a little bit more. Um, should we go with the one that spits it out the side? Just as we can see that. Test drive, right, accept. Okay, so now we get to test drive our mower, and we get to do a few basic things I think you have to kind of mow it to 80% and then you you're done kind of uh, with the with the the uh, tutorial so let's see how we go with that takes a bit of time to load in this is on a base PS4 that I'm playing it on so I don't know whether it's any quicker on the uh, the pro right welcome to the test drive area okay so you get first person view with your person is there any way to change that view doesn't look like it I'm doing a few button presses but nothing's changing right so let's get on the vehicle and we can start her up so we want to hold square that circle fills up we have started and then we want to engage the throttle and then we want to R2 start drive to the grass when the vehicle started, take a moment to get used to it, then drive over the grass and you can start cutting. Right, so, so we can change the cut height with up and down on the D-pad. When we get here, it should tell us what height. Once on the grass, you need to get your deck ready for the first cutting, then engage the cutting blades. You should only ever turn on your blades when on the grass. Okay. What it's my cut height that I want to put it to. Uh, I think it'll tell me in this pause menu. Okay, cut height range five to six. Okay, resume. So we want to go five to six cut height. Five point seven. 
yeah, it's 5.7. Then I want to engage my blades. Yeah, 5 to 6, 20, cut 20% 20 of the grass, so not 80%, that's right. Um, check your progress in the top right, that's fine. Okay, so now I've lowered my plate, I think. I've got no plate to lower. Right there, you just start cutting and you'll see it come out the side. So then away we go. You shouldn't overload the engine. If you see that happening, then you've got to kind of slow down or maintain a steady pace. Otherwise, you'll cause damage to your um, lawnmower. So you can't just go flat out. La -ba -da -ba -da, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Right, around we go. So in contracts, they'll sort of stipulate that you can't get grass into the the flower beds. So if you're running a mower that spits it out to the side, you've got to be careful where it spits. You can spit it onto the onto the grass itself, but not into the flower bed. We're at three percent. Kind of pitched as a relaxing sim you know you just taking a little drive around cutting the grass just doing your job starting up your company change your view as well you can go first first person it's actually a bit better I think first person top down view that's pretty good gives you a good idea of how much you've uh, you completed and there's a pro view where you can sort of see how much you've got yet to do so you hold that down I think yeah and anything that's highlighted you can therefore see what you need to cut next and that away you go gives you that warning when you go over the uh, threshold of the red mark pretty easy to end up doing that though, that's the one thing, you've got to kind of hook your finger into the right position in order to maintain the f the acceleration at the right level, otherwise you will go over. It only takes a little dab for it to go over. That's your kind of main focus really, is trying to keep your um, mower in tip top condition so you don't have to pay for repairs because you will get the option to pay for repairs and obviously you have to pay for um, petrol as well bit odd how those bushes are loading in I mean there's not really much going on on screen so you would expect it to be able to cope with uh, just a few bushes a bit weird but um there you go. I just suppose it hasn't been maybe optimized that well. Go first person view. Oh, gone over again. Almost need like a mechanical clip to keep it in place. See if I can do it better. If I, I've got little trigger extenders on this PS4 controller so maybe if I hold it a bit higher up it might be a bit easier to control exactly where it's going oh. trying not to exceed the red limiter come my son I don't know if other mowers get things done quicker because maybe they've got a wider plate and they can cut more grass at once so maybe that more expensive mower cuts more grass per, per yard or whatever. I'm just doing this any old way because you only need to get to 20% to get through the tutorial. Kind of backgrounds are kind of well done and believable which is quite cool but you can't interact with anything um, such as the cars or anything like that would have been good to be able to get a few perks of the job by breaking into a car or a warehouse <laughs> taking a few bits of uh, petrol for the mower 
maybe getting a few supplies but running the risk of getting arrested or something that would have been quite cool right okay but this is a chill game so maybe that's not part of what this game is all about right let's get this done we're nearly there 15.2 Point three. Go around these trees. Oh, clonk. See if I can get through there. Trying to get a bit of feedback through the uh, pad. Not much, though. Tiny bit. Kind of got there when I was going around that corner. I don't know if it was because I was just clipping the tree, maybe. Have a go. Does it happen? Yeah, you get a bit when you clip into the tree. Right, 16.9, come on. Got a nice steady. Oh, no, I haven't. There's me saying I've got a nice steady uh, track going, but it's very easy to go over that limiter. Red limiter. Concentrate on the edges, that should take us to where we need to be. Feels like it's going a bit faster. Oh. Maybe it was because it was going downhill. Oh god. Nearly there, coming up to 20%. And we are done. So great work. In real contract, however, you'll be expected to cut all the grass, of course. When a contract has been completed, you now have to store your vehicle in the trailer and then interact with your pickup truck to leave the location. So disengage the uh, parts and then away we go. We can just drive off go as fast as you want when you're driving off without cutting Contract complete and I just need to drive back to my trailer get on the back yeehaw bosh right I'm on press and hold O which I'm doing it doesn't seem to be doing much not very responsive Coming off. Right, so you look, you get um, options to fill the fuel. 88 pence worth. Uh, change the cutting blades. 50. Call Widow. Recover. Don't know what that means. Oh, you just put it over there. Right, okay. Uh, oh, I think that's if it falls over. I'm not sure why it would fall over, or maybe if it gets stuck. Um, now I've got to remember how to to drive it. <laughs> how did I do it last time? Oh, it's square. Yeah. Square, then engage, then drive on. And we get back off. Then we go. I can't jump, so I have to walk around the end. Getting me pick up. We leave location. So that's the kind of game loop. Gonna go to different locations, do a job, get some money, get some points, and then try and uh, sort of upgrade your your lawnmower uh, business accordingly. Right, I wouldn't mind going with the. So there's an 84 deck size, it's an 80, it's a 98. So I'm assuming that does more quicker. Top speed 4.3, top speed 7, so that's quite rapid. 5.5. Uh, let's go with this. Because then I. 2650, yeah, let's go with it. Right, string trimmer. Get that, 250 quid, leaves me with 100 quid. And we are ready to select our first contract, which is this front garden at the old Nook Cottage. So once you select contract information, blah de blah. So we want to select an employee, assign an employee, which is the only employee I've got. 
assign a vehicle, which is the only vehicle I've got. Equipment, I want to get me Strimmer. So we've got all three pieces. Now we can confirm the contract and crack on. So I can start from there and then we go straight into the cottage and then go from there with a first cut of the lawn. See how we go with that one. But the thing with this though is I'll have to do 100% which would, could take some time. So maybe we'll just get started and then we'll call a halt to the 10 minute taster. Um, because I'm sure you don't want to sit there watching me just cut grass, but it's good to get a feel for what the gameplay is about and um, how the different locations really are the star of the show. Because look, you've got this lovely cottage um, with like garden um, and all the sort of set up with the trees, etc. So let's uh, see how we go with this. Okay, ground check phase. Oh, yeah, this is a different part to it. So you can go in there, you can check the the ground for any objects that you may come across and then you can remove them before you start so let's see if we can find something um, over here so like, I think you've got a gnome over here so you don't want to run over that because otherwise that will cause a problem so let's pick that up um, and let's work our way around and see what else we've got uh, over here oh look there's another thing stuff what else have we got? Um, so I think there's three items that are kind of lying in the grass. So let's see what we can find. Where's that? Not around there. There either. Okay. Right, where is it? they've got the background noise going on there that adds a bit of re realism sounds like we're next to like a main road where are these other objects or object strange right one more look and if I can't find it I can't find it Maybe let's go around this bit. How weird. Not around here. Not here either. Okay, well, we'll just kind of say that we can't find it because I, I can't bloody find it. Anyway, so then we get on our mower. Uh, skip the check because I can't find the other one. And let's get cutting. So we start the engine. We engage the throttle. And we get moving. So I need to have a look at my contract to work out what height, five to six. Limey cutting deck. Uh, go with six. And where's it spit out? Contract performance. Contract performance will affect how much money and reputation points you earn. Okay. So where's that going? Is it just mulching out the back? Seems faster, this one. So look, I'm at 3% already. That's pretty good. I'm going to work my way around the edge once. But this is good because it's not spitting anything out as such into the beds so I think it's good to get this more expensive one at the start I'd say then it'll probably make your life easier in the long run you know, I'm whipping around here pretty quickly I don't know if I can cut flowers 
by accident and whether that would cause a problem I'm sure it would lose me some reputation points yeah this is much better much better than that last one okay and then you come around here I haven't seen the other uh, object either I think if I hit that object that I didn't find then it will damage my um, damage me mower right and there we go so one little circuit is giving me 15% and obviously you've got to get to 100% in order to uh, complete the task in hand so like I say I won't take you through a whole cutting but hopefully this 10 minute taste has given you a bit of a taste for what this game's all about and whether it's something you, that you'd uh, enjoy nice relaxing sim just rolling around the garden cutting the lawn and uh, building up your business empire right see if I can cut these can I cut them yeah go on <laughs> let's have the plants out Whee. anyway my friends oh looks like I'm stuck no I'm not stuck um, hopefully you've enjoyed the video if you've enjoyed the video please press like also subscribe to the channel that helps us immensely it helps us get new games into the games freezer for us to take a look at so as you can get an indication on whether there's a game that you'd like to buy we're over on twitter and instagram at games freezer and we're also at www.gamesfreezer.co.uk thanks for watching everyone until next time it's goodbye my friends I'm off to mow my lawn and cut me bush.